Hello, it's Richard Fowler here, Yamaha Brand Ambassador at Rimmers Music in Edinburgh. People at Rimmers Music have asked me to compile some videos um, which will help you to get the best out of your instrument at home. And I thought it would be a good place to start with the Yamaha CVP um, 800 series Clavinovas. These really are an amazing instrument. I was very proud to be part of the content team that helped put these instruments together in Japan. And CVP as a concept actually is an amazing, amazing instrument. Basically what we have here is a piano, but with so much more. So inside here basically you've got two or three instruments. And um, we have all of the sounds that you'd expect to hear on our classical CLP clavinovas. Same great key bed, fantastic speaker system, amazing variety of piano sounds, but also with lots of the sounds that you would expect to see on our high-end keyboards. So brass and woodwind and guitar and saxophones and all of those sort of sounds, drums as well, of course. At first glance, CVP Clavinova can be quite scary if you come to this instrument, maybe from an acoustic instrument or a very basic digital piano. As you can see there, there's quite a lot of controls and a big screen in the middle. Uh, and, and that can be a little off-putting to um, some beginners on this side, sort of instrument. Don't let it be. Because we're going to show you in the next series of videos, actually, that CVP Clavinova is really easy to use. There's something in here for everyone and it's an instrument that can be extremely versatile in lots of different situations. For this first video, we're going to show you um, the very basics of a feature that we call Piano Room. And Piano Room makes this instrument, actually, I would argue, even easier to use than a CLP classic clavinova if you want him to play just solo piano. By pressing the piano room button on the panel on the right hand side of the screen, you instantly get a visual guide to the piano that you're actually playing on, the sound that you've chosen. On screen you will see our premium piano, that's the Yamaha 9 foot CFX Concert Grand. Now that piano is designed to sit on a stage with an orchestra or a band, so it, it's quite a dynamic, bombastic, um, some would even say quite aggressive piano, but it's designed to be. This is ideal for the big Russian uh, classical pieces, maybe something you would play with strings and brass and woodwind. In this case, let's just play a little classical piece. Now, whilst it's true that we use the CFX piano for lots of uh, instances on this instrument where we mix it with strings and brass and woodwind and drums and basses and all of that, sometimes it's just really nice to sit and play a 
very mellow, very warm, very friendly to play classical instrument. In this case, let's go back into Piano Room, tap the picture of the CFX, and this time we have a choice of different pianos on the right hand side of the screen. Select Bosendorfer and tap the piano on the left hand side of the screen again. Now we have a Bosendorfer 290 Imperial Concert Grand to play. This is very different in character to the Yamaha CFX. So for those times that you just want to sit and play piano, just noodle around, I, I, I spend lots of time just noodling around, not actually playing anything that you would recognise. Um, <laughs> most people say, most of the things I play, no one recognises. But in this case, that uh, Bosendorfer piano is really just lovely for chilling out and, and playing and noodling around and, and, and playing your favourite pieces on. Just lovely. So why do we need so many pianos? Well. If you imagine uh, the phrase horses for courses, this really is exactly the reason why we have lots of pianos on here. For example, the CFX you would expect to see on stage with an orchestra. The Bosendorfer you would expect um, to play solo piano on, um, mainly classical music or uh, romantic music. Let's say, for example, we, we, we get taken out for a nice meal and there's, there's a nice little Italian uh, intimate restaurant somewhere and there's someone tinkling away playing in the corner of the, uh, of the restaurant. Very, very nice. In that circumstance, neither the CFX or the Bosendorfer actually is the right piano. The CFX is just too loud and too leery. The Bosendorfer probably a little soft. And so the restaurants generally buy Yamaha C3Xs, six foot grand, not too loud, but nice, pleasant sounding, not too mellow, and importantly for the piano player, dead easy to play on a four hour session. So that's a really good example of the right piano in the right situation, and that's why we have lots of different pianos on here. For example, the pop grand, very much replicates this restaurant piano. And after playing all of those grands, um, why on earth would you want an upright? A uh, grand piano is so much better than an upright. Well, it is, but in some cases the upright is the right sound. And you'll see a honky-tonk piano too if you've had a, a really old uh, upright piano kind of way past its sell-by date you've got something there that will sound almost as bad as the one that you had at home <laughs> and we've got some electric piano sounds here as well of course this first one very very reminiscent of the 1970s piano the stage piano um, used on lots of popular music from that time
piano takes us back to the 60s, maybe that Ray Charles, Stevie Wonder sort of sound. And on a Yamaha instrument, of course, we couldn't possibly forget the DX7 electric piano just the sound of the 80s and used to accompany such great singers as Diana Ross, Barbara Streisand and of course Whitney Houston. We were talking about horses for courses and, and, and the way that the pianos kind of behave differently in different circumstances. We're talking about piano room and that's really important because we've talked about pianos so far but we haven't talked about the rooms. If you click on the screen in that background area around the piano, you'll actually see that we have different environments that we can put that piano into. This is ideal if you want a grand piano in a concert hall, for example, or indeed to put the pop piano on a stage in a, in a club, in a nightclub, maybe. That will change the timbre and the ambience of the piano and tailor it exactly how you want it to be.